Alright guys, hello. I'm sorry for the hiatus that I had. I've been sick and like I said, we're moving and some of our like job finding, the job finding part basically, has just been going kind of slow. We're still praying about it. We're still working on it. <clears throat> so if you just pray for with us for that, that'd be great. So I wanted to talk a little bit today about the government shutdown. I don't think as a Christian that I think that that's wrong at all. I'm actually pretty happy about it. I think that when we have a government shutdown and then people are affected by it, or what we need to do as we ourselves as individuals or corporately as a church need to come together and perhaps help them find a better job other than a government job or just help them out, you know, from there. <clears throat> so if you ever wondered what the statistic of evangelical evangelicals give the most i don't know if you guys have heard that but like conservatives statistically speaking are the ones who give the most what that looks like is i have two examples here okay one is from dave ramsey and that's what's on the screen right now and dave ramsey's if you don't know who he is is a personal finance professional that you can find on youtube He's the host of the syndicated radio show, The Dave Ramsey Show, and provides free daily personal finance through a podcast and on YouTube. In this article, he provides seven tips for how to weather this storm. Okay, He has two main emphasis, emphasis here, hope and a plan. If you can give people hope and a plan to get wherever it is they're trying to go, then you'll provide a ripple effect in that person's life. So let's say you've been working for the government and now, you know, your paycheck isn't there and you're not really quite sure what to do. Well, he provides a list and he also encourages you to reach out to your local churches. Now, I think that's probably one of the best things you can do if you <clears throat> are having, you know, any ill effects from this. And this is what I mean a lot of times when, when I was talking about my transition from pagan to Christian. One of the things that Christians are really good at, and I don't really see too many other things good at, is um, this giving part. This understanding that this life, or the, you know, you can't be um, dependent on government. You can't be saying, you know, well... The government needs to give me this because the government is not going to be there for you, okay? So we all have to band together. And that is something I see a lot in the Christian community. Sometimes it's really great. And sometimes it's just a little bit. But wherever they are, Christians do that. So here's another example that I'm going to show you really quickly. And this is called LPC. Uh, it's called the Low Country pregnancy center okay so if let's say you have kids etc then what this little country pregnancy center has done is said come get free diapers come get food if you're uh, on government assistance and you can't get any more if the shutdown has affected you in some way so that's a truly Christian response to this Christians don't believe that you rely on government or other people to provide everything for you but if you're obviously in transition or having a hard time then Christians do help so that is what it looks like and that is the Christian response to the government shutdown again I don't think the government is shut down is a bad thing I think it's a good thing I think it starts to allow people to do the good that they are meant to do all right so <clears throat> Every time the Christian response in these situations to those who truly need is to help them. If you know anybody out there who needs help, share it in the comments or through your social media and just, let's just continue to be a light to other people as the Bible instructs us. Okay guys, that's it for today. Bye!